Okay, guys, sorujitos, sorujitos, it is, all right? So these are our ingredients. I have here some butter, so I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of butter. I have cheese, you are welcome to use any type of cheese you like, including vegan. I have this corn meal flour that is like pre-cooked, and I have the sugar and the salt. And that is all the ingredients we need for surujitos, guys. So now here I have two cups of water. I have a half a cup of um, sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt, or just a little pinch, and one tablespoon of butter. I use unsalted butter as well, okay? So here I'm gonna let this simmer to boil as soon as finish boiling what I do I turn off the stove and now here I am adding one cup of that fine corn meal so when I add this cup or we add this cup guys <laughs> that's when you need a little bit of elbow grease and you are going to stir it where it come it becomes like gummy like like almost like a little paste and you know you have stir it and it's it's completely done and cooked exactly how you want it as you can see here i'm stirring it right and when you see it comes together like that that it comes up you know away from the pot and everything this is pretty much ready to rock and roll guys ready to rock and roll so it should look like this. So at this point, you take it and you let it cool off because now, as you can see, after it had cooled off completely, you are going to be using your hands. So therefore, you don't need it to be hot. So here I am massaging to make sure, and, I'm, and I press it down almost like a very thin patty. And now I'm gonna add the cheese. Just add a little bit of cheese at a time, guys, so you're able to close them pretty good. As you can see here. So, you know, it's all repetition and practice. The more you do it, the better you get at it, and the faster you get at it. I promise you. But these surujitos are so good. They're good for snack and Puerto Rico. We used to eat them for breakfast, you know? Your mom and your grandmother send you <laughs> um, to school on your little walk with some surujitos. And it will be the best thing ever. I promise your kids going to love it. And like I said, you could use vegan cheese as well. And make this vegetarian or vegan. It is your choice. Okay. So as you can see, I'm showing you again the process. And like I said, it's all repetition. So while we're doing this, guys, don't forget to like this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe below on that little red button. That's the subscribe button, guys. And also, don't forget to hit the notification bell because it's going to let you know as soon as I look a video, you're going to be one of the first ones to know and you'll be able to watch each video, which I post every Fridays and Sundays okay i have a lot of great recipes coming your way guys a lot of great recipe international recipe desserts drinks etc so go ahead and subscribe today and hit that like button i appreciate you stopping by so here we are continuing to build our surujitas i haven't i haven't ate this in a while 
so i made them and oh my god they came out so good so good so good so here i have my oil heating up on medium low so make sure your your fire some medium low you want you want it to give it time to heat up inside so it could melt that cheese remember the cornmeal is already cooked so it's not like you have to wait until the cornmeal cook, but you want the cheese inside to melt and also a nice golden crisp in the outside. And when I fry guys, when I fry anything, I like to leave enough room in between so everything could fry evenly. So, you know, don't walk away from these guys. Just, they're going to cook pretty quickly. So, you continue to turn them every couple of minutes. And look at that. Look at that beauty, guys. That is golden go right there. <laughs> golden go. All right. Look at that. I love it. I love it. And I'm, I promise you, you and your family are going to love these. Like I said, these are good all day long. Breakfast, snack, whatever you want to call it. You know, even when the kids are watching movies and you don't want them bothering you, go ahead and make some of these. And put them in a little bowl in front of them. They ain't going to bother you for a while. <laughs> okay. So look at these. They are so nice. Very nice. And very tasty. This is the color you want. Look at how pretty that is. And again, we fry this on medium low. And then in the last couple of minutes or the last minute of frying it, I put the, the oil, I cramp it up to uh, medium high and let that last minute for it to cook in medium high. But the whole time you want to cook it on medium low. Look at these guys. All right. So from my kitchen to your kitchen, where everything is done with love, guys. Thank you for stopping by. And I will see you on the next recipe.